Welcome. I'm Inger, she is Rosie, and this is Be Free Yoga. We're so glad you joined us today. This is a one hour vinyasa flow yoga class designed for all levels. Just modify based on your fitness level, any injuries you might have, and how you're feeling today, because every day is different and every body is different. If you like practicing with no music or with your own music, you're in the right place. If you prefer to practice with my carefully curated playlist, you can find these same classes on my website, www.befreeyogaaustin.com. And that's B with two E's, like the bumblebee. Um, also there you will find a relaxing guided meditation and written reflections on the weekly topic to help you on your spiritual path. Enjoy your practice today, and thank you so much for joining us. Hi, welcome to Be Free Yoga. I'm Inger, and this is Rosie. And today's class is on karma. My interpretation of karma is a little bit different than the traditional outlook on it. I don't believe that life is a merit-based system of reward and punishment of the individual. I think karma needs to be looked at in the larger context of the fundamentals of yoga philosophy, um, which is this concept of unity, that we are all connected. If we truly are all connected, then when uh, we send positive energy out into the world, that will spread. And if we send negative energy out into the world, that will spread but it becomes less important whether it um, hits us personally or affects other people because we're all one. So we are going to explore the concept of karma as the law of cause and effect today. If you're doing this class with my playlist, it's all music from the 1960s. Uh, just to reinforce this idea that our past informs our present and our present informs our future. You'll need two blocks and a strap. And we're going to start in an easy seat on our mat with our blocks underneath our knees, just for a little extra support. Lengthen your spine and root down through your sits bones and close your eyes. Rest your hands on your knees. And then take a full, deep inhale. Hold it at the top. One, two, three. Open mouth, exhale, sigh it out. Again, a full, deep inhale. Hold it. One, two, three, side out. Everything is connected. What you think your body does and what your body does, your soul feels. Notice how these deep breaths affect how you feel. Take another inhale. And one more open mouth exhale. And then relax and open your eyes. In yoga, there are some skaras, which are unconscious impressions, um, which are the result of our habits and our past behaviors that we repeat over time. It's good to know that although those affect our karma and the karma of others, we can change those by establishing new habits, new neural pathways. So this first exercise helps us establish some new neural pathways. Reach your arms forward. Begin with your pointers and just circle them towards each other. Try and isolate your pointer fingers. And then go in the other direction away from each other, then both to the right and both to the left. 
Switch to your middle fingers, try and isolate them, circle towards each other, and then away, and both to the right and both to the left. If you're finding this difficult, it's okay. Sometimes changing habits can be difficult at first. Now your ring fingers towards each other and away. It kind of feels good to stretch your fingers. We don't do that very often. To the right, to the left. Pinkies towards each other, away. To the right and to the left. Now thumbs towards each other and away from each other. To the right and to the left. Relax, shake out your arms. Rest your arms on your legs and then circle your head first to the right. Loosen up your shoulders a little and your neck. Take it slow. And then to the left. A couple of times around. And then come back to center. Grab your strap for some shoulder flossing. You may need a very wide grip. You may need a narrow grip. It depends on the flexibility and openness of your shoulders. I take a pretty wide grip. Hold your strap, arms overhead, big breath in. And then exhale, open it up to the back. Try and keep your arms as straight as you can. Inhale up. And exhale forward. Keep your pressure on your strap. If there's an area where it gets really tight, maybe pause there. You can experiment. What does it feel like when you narrow your grip on your strap or make it wider? One more time. And come back through center and release your strap. Remove your blocks, set them to the side. Bring the soles of your feet together and butterfly your legs in Baddha Konasana. Then reach down and grab your big toes with your peace fingers. Oh, that's appropriate for the 1960s music I'm playing. And then balance on your hips and straighten your legs, balancing happy baby. Kick into your fingers as you pull on your toes. Let that opposing pressure offer strength and stability. Lengthen your spine, spread through your sternum. Big breath in. And release the soles of your feet together back to Baddha Konasana. Bring your palms underneath your knees. And then on the inhale, close your knees, round your spine, tuck your chin, and press them together. Try and keep the soles of your feet together. Hold for one, two, three, and then exhale, release. On our next inhale, press down on your knees. And hold. One, two, Three, other way, inhale, close your knees, squeeze them shut, round and curl your spine, hold, exhale, release all the tension, inhale, press down on your knees, maybe your arms go straight, maybe they don't, it's okay, hold that breath. And then exhale, release. Nice. Shake your legs. Seated forward fold, reach your arms high. And then exhale, fold forward. 
We're not warm yet. Maybe you hold your shins. Maybe you hold your toes. Don't force anything here. Inhale, rise back up and come into tabletop. Blocks on the low setting underneath your hands here. Spread your fingers wide on your block, knees under your hips. Inhale, left leg back, flex your foot, level your hips, squeeze your glute, big breath in. Exhale, knee to left armpit. Suck your belly and curve your spine and see if you can tap your wrist with your toes. Maybe you do, maybe you don't, it's okay. Inhale, lengthen back. Exhale, knee to left armpit, tap your wrist. Slow movements like you're moving through, honey. Lengthen it back one last time and lower that knee down. Other side, right leg back. Lengthen your leg, reach through your heel. Big breath in. Exhale, right knee to right armpit. Option to tap your toes to your wrist. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, tap. One more round. Really draw your belly in round your spine. Make space. Inhale, lengthen. And back down to tabletop, set your blocks to the side. Tuck your toes and exhale into down dog. First down dog of the day. So pedal out your legs as you press your chest low. Inner elbows rotate forward. Then find stillness. Rise up on your tiptoes, feel how the effect of that is to move you forward, and then push into your hands, send your chest low and reach your tailbone high. And release, let's do it again. Inhale up on your tiptoes, then push into your hands, send yourself back, and release. Look to the top of your mat, and take tiny steps forward for ragdoll. Hold opposite elbows, feet hip widths distance apart. Bend your knees so much that your torso hangs heavy over your thighs. Shake your head, yes. Shake your head, no. And release your hands. Toe heel your feet together, slight space between your heels. And then with soft knees and a heavy head, roll up one vertebra at a time. When you get to the top, roll your shoulders up and back and bring your hands to your heart. Close your eyes. Let's explore cause and effect today. If you shift your weight to one side, how does your body compensate for balance? If you adjust your alignment in a posture, how does your muscle engagement change? And if you shift your attitude, if you notice yourself feeling kind of grumbly or negative, how does thinking different thoughts affect how you feel? Take a full inhale to seal our intention. Open mouth, exhale. Open your eyes, release your hands. Come into star pose. Feet as wide as your mat, toes pointing out. Arms high and wide. Squeeze your glutes to open your hips and squeeze your shoulder blades to open your heart. Take up as much space as you can. Big breath in. Exhale, interlace your hands behind your back. Inhale, reach your knuckles down as you spread through your collarbones. Big breath in. Exhale, forward fold, hinge at your hips. 
slowly lower down. Take your time with that transition. Knuckles still reach high, press your palms together. Inhale, halfway lift. Long, flat spine, lengthen through the back of your neck. Look at your mat, keep your knuckles high. One more inhale. Exhale, modified crow. Bring your palms to the floor, spread your fingers wide. Lift your heels and draw your belly and hips up. Look about a foot in front of your hands. Then inhale, step or hop back to high plank. And exhale, chaturanga. Shift forward, lower down halfway, elbows back. Inhale, up dog, open your heart space, thighs off the floor. Exhale, down dog. Take a full breath in. And exhale, sink your heels lower. <sighs> Inhale, look to the top of your mat. Exhale, step or hop forward into Malasana, high frog squat. Sit your hips low and bring your hands to your heart. This is a high frog squat. We're not trying to get too low, but try and shift your shoulders back over your hips. Keep your knees open. On the exhale, sink a little lower. Inhale, back up through star. And then exhale, take the opposite grip behind your back. Inhale, knuckles down, heart opens. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Lengthen through the back of your neck. Exhale, modified crow, hands to the earth. Heels and hips high, look forward. Inhale, hop back. Exhale, chaturanga. You can skip the chaturangas. Inhale, up dog. You can take them on your knees. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, look to the top of your mat. One more time through. Exhale, step or hop forward. High frog squat. Stay for a breath in. Exhale, lower down. Inhale, star. Exhale, interlace your hands. Knuckles go down. And then hinge forward at your hips. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, modified crow. Create a strong base with your hands. Inhale, hop back, high plank. Exhale, chaturanga. Fight gravity on the way down. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Your inhale. Open mouth, exhale. Inhale, scorpion dog, right leg high. Bend your knee. Stack your right hip over your left. Try and have equal weight in both hands. Exhale, knee to left tricep, hinge forward through plank, elevator your knee up your tricep, bring it higher. Inhale, back through your scorpion dog, and exhale, low lunge. Step it through between your hands. Inhale, crescent moon, lower your back knee and rise up. Sink your hips low with every exhale. Strong mountain arms. Option to place your hands on your thigh if that feels better to you today. Traction your front heel and back knee towards each other. A big breath in. Exhale, half splits. Option to frame your front foot with your blocks to bring the floor closer to you. Great place to experiment with cause and effect. Does it feel different when you flex your foot? What happens when you send your right hip back and down? How can you lengthen your spine more before you fold? Stay here for a couple rounds of breath. On your next inhale, plant your foot. 
Come back up through crescent moon. And then exhale, runner's lunge with your blocks on medium height. Toe heel your right foot out so that your blocks are inside your foot. Lift your back knee. You may need a high setting. Um, find what works for you so that you can have mobility in your spine. Inhale, cow pose. Sink your hips low as you reach your chest forward. Look up. And then exhale, cat in your spine. Modified pyramid. Straighten your front leg. Push into your front foot. Keep your back heel lifted. Round your spine and tuck your chin. Inhale, cow. Reach your heart forward. Exhale, modified pyramid. Inhale, cow. Experiment with how much weight you have in your hand, hands versus your feet. Pause here with our cow spine. Toe heel your right foot out a little bit, and then exhale, step your left foot forward for a high frog squat. Set your blocks to the side. Inhale, wide-legged mountain, reach your arms up, parallel your feet. Lightly clasp your left wrist with your right hand. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, side bend to the right. Keep your left armpit open. Remember to breathe. Inhale, back up through center, switch your grip. Exhale, grow, and then willow your arms to the left. Shoulders face forward. Inhale, back to center, wide-legged mountain. Exhale, forward fold. Slow transition, hinge at your hips. Inhale, halfway lift. Hands on your shins. Long line of energy, reach your crown forward. Exhale, modified crow. We've been here before, up on your tiptoes, look forward. Inhale, hop back or step back. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Your breath in, your breath out. Inhale, left leg high, scorpion dog. Bend your top leg, stack your hips. Big inhale. Exhale, knee to right tricep, cross it over. Use your quarter lifted higher. Inhale, back through scorpion. Exhale, low lunge, push the earth away as you step through. Make space for your leg. Inhale, crescent moon, lower your back knee and rise up. Maybe toe heel your left foot forward and out. Make sure your knee stacks over your ankle. Sink your hips low. Big breath in. Exhale, half splits. Grab your blocks on whatever setting works for you. Flex your toes skyward. Draw your left femur back into your hip socket. Lengthen and deepen. If you're prone to hyperextension in your knee, keep a micro bend there. You can always put a blanket under your back knee if you need a little cushioning. On your next inhale, flatten your front foot. Come back through crescent moon. And then exhale into runner's lunge. Blocks on medium setting inside your front foot. Activate your back leg. Inhale, cow, sink your hips low, reach your heart forward. Exhale, modified pyramid. Press into the floor with your front foot. Straighten both legs around your spine. Inhale, cow. Exhale, cat. 
Inhale, cow. Notice how you can go a little deeper each time. Exhale, cat. Inhale, cow. Toe heel your left foot a little towards the edge of your mat and then step forward into Malasana. High frog squat. Knees are open, shoulders over your hips. Inhale, rise up mountain with a wide stance, parallel your feet. Lightly clasp your left wrist, inhale, grow. Exhale, bend to the right. Inhale through center. Exhale, bend to the left. Inhale through center. And exhale, fold. Keep your weight shifted forward. Use your glutes and your hamstrings on the way down. Inhale, halfway lift. Flatten your shoulder blades on your back. Exhale, modified crow. Keep your hips and your heels high. Inhale, hop back. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Remember, child's pose is always there for you. We'll go through that one more time in our flow, linking breath to movement. Inhale, scorpion dog, right leg high. Exhale, knee to left tricep. Inhale, scorpion dog. How's your mental outlook? If you think strong thoughts, will you feel stronger? Lower your back knee, inhale, crescent moon. You're gonna make this dynamic now. Exhale, half splits with airplane arms. Reach your heart forward and your hands back. Inhale, flatten your foot, crescent moon. Exhale, half split. Inhale, crescent moon. Exhale, runner's lunge. Grab your blocks, medium setting inside your front foot. Inhale, cow. Exhale, modified pyramid straight legs around your spine. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, look back. Inhale, last time, look forward. Toe heel your right foot out. Step your left foot forward. Frog squat. Inhale, mountain parallel your feet. Exhale, side bend to the right. Inhale through center. Exhale, side bend to the left. Inhale, mountain. Exhale, slowly fold forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, modified crow. Inhale, hop back. Exhale, slowly lower halfway, elbows in. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Your breath in, your breath out. Other side, scorpion dog on the left. And then exhale, knee to right tricep. Inhale, scorpion dog. Exhale, low lunge. Inhale, crescent moon. Send your hips even lower, we're getting warm. Exhale, airplane arms as you half split. This is optional, you can use your blocks. You don't have to keep moving. Find what works for you. Inhale one more time, hips go low, arms go high. Exhale, runner's lunge. Blocks on the medium setting. Inhale, reach your heart forward, look up. Exhale, modified pyramid. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, push into your strong big toe. Inhale, look forward. Toe heel your left foot out. Exhale, frog squat. Inhale, mountain, parallel your feet. 
Exhale, side bend to the right. Inhale through center. Exhale the other way. Inhale, mountain. Exhale, fold forward, hands through your heart. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, modified crow. Look forward so you don't topple over. Inhale, hop back. Exhale, slowly lower. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Big breath in, press into your hands, send your tailbone high, and then exhale, sink your heels lower. Inhale, look to the top of your mat. Exhale, come through to a seat. Good job. Have a sip of water, towel off. I'll read you a quote by Robert Louis Stevenson. Don't judge each day by the harvest you reap, but by the seeds that you plant. So what seeds are you planting in your practice today? Are they gonna grow into something beautiful? All right, got some simple core work today. When you're ready, come to your back in Baddha Konasana, soles of your feet together. Bring your hands behind your head. Wrap your shoulder blades underneath you. Take a full inhale. Exhale, crunch, lift your chest and chin skyward. Inhale, lower to a hover. Exhale, crunch. Option, if you want a little more of a challenge to float your feet off the floor, just keep pressing the soles of your feet together. Glue your lower back down. And don't hold your breath, remember to breathe. Let your head be heavy in your hands. Slow control movements, four, three, two. Next time do a clamshell, one, draw your knees and elbows together, curl up. Inhale, hover your head and feet. Exhale, lift. Try and get your tailbone and shoulder blades off the floor. Inhale, hover. And squeeze your front ribs and hip bones together. The more you put in, the more you get out. Not just for our benefit, making ourselves stronger for the people in our lives. Three... Two, one, release, draw your knees into your chest, give them a squeeze, rock side to side. And then bring your legs into reverse tabletop for yogi bicycle sit-ups, knees stack over your hips. You can point or flex your feet, hands behind your head. Inhale. Hover your shoulder blades, lift towards the sky, exhale, twist. Extend your right leg as you bring your right elbow to your left knee. Inhale through center, exhale, twist. It's easy to get one shoulder blade off the floor, but can you lift them both off the floor? If you want a little more, you can straighten your legs and scissor them. Woo. Not long now. Three, two, one. Lower down and take a long good morning stretch. Oh, feels so good. Point your toes, let your lower back arch up. And as you breathe, feel your abdomen stretch. Ben Okri said, the law is simple. Every experience is repeated or suffered until you experience it properly and fully. Have you ever been like, why do I have to learn this lesson over and over again? That's why, more to learn. Take one more inhale here. 
Let your arms stay overhead. See if you can relax your arms and shoulders and send your legs skyward, flex your feet. If you need a little extra support in this exercise, you can bring your hands down by your hips so you can press into the floor. Find what works for you. Then begin to tuck your tailbone, lift your hips and raise one vertebra at a time off the floor as you fold into a kind of plow. And then slowly one vertebra at a time. Lower back down, don't let your hips just plop down. Come back to waterfall. Let's do it again. Lift your hips one vertebra at a time, fortune telling fish. Someday I need to look up what it means when just the tail folds in a fortune telling fish. One more time. If these don't work for you, you can do some micro hip lifts. Make a practice that works for you. And then draw your knees into your chest. Give yourself a squeeze, so good. Hold the back of your thighs. Rock and roll up. Cross your legs, you can go through a chaturanga or you can meet in down dog. We have one more standing series on each side. Settle into your down dog. Rise up on your tiptoes, push into your hands, send your chest low, and then relax. Inhale, right leg high. Nice level hip, squeeze your glute. Exhale, low lunge. Step between your hands as lightly as you can. Tent your fingers. Draw your belly off your thigh. Lengthen forward. Inhale, crescent lunge, rise up. Spike your back heel. Engage your core, then work to straighten your back leg. Make sure your front knee stacks over your ankle. Big breath in. Exhale, revolve, crescent lunge. Bring your hands to your heart, hinge forward. Left elbow outside your right thigh. Think of one line of energy from your heel to the top of your head. Then press your palms towards your heart to twist your rib cage further. Draw your right shoulder away from your ear. Remember to breathe. You can always lower your back knee for extra support. One more inhale, root into your front foot. Exhale, prayer twist. Step your left foot forward to meet your right. Sit back in your invisible throne. Make sure your heart is higher than your hips. Twist a little deeper. Knees in line with each other, that'll level your hips. Full breath in. Exhale, forward fold. Lengthen the backs of your legs, shift your weight forward. Maybe sway your torso side to side, drag your knuckles on the earth. Come back to center. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, low lunge, right foot back. Again, ground down into your feet. Little to no weight in your hands, belly engaged. Inhale, crescent lunge. Send your right hip forward, left hip back. Spike your back heel. Big breath in. Exhale, revolve. Hands to your heart. Hinge forward. Right elbow outside your left thigh. Squeeze your right glute. Ground down through your feet. Elbows and wrists in one line. Now play with cause and effect. What happens if you look up? What happens if you look down? Maybe you like to look to the side. On the inhale, root into your front foot. And then exhale, step your right foot forward for prayer twist. I know your legs are tired. 
We're not here long. Try and keep your hips low and your spine long. And big breath in. Exhale, release into that nice forward fold. Imagine you have a water faucet on your hips and you want the water to roll down your spine and off the top of your head. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, crow. If crow is already in your practice, you can just hop to it or you can follow along with me. Hands flat on the earth under your shoulders, fingers spread wide. Then walk your feet towards your wrists and rise up on your tiptoes so that your knees are in your armpits or resting on your triceps. Look forward and start to shift the weight into your hands. Grasshopper your elbows back. You can stay right here. This is crow. So strong, you can play with lifting one foot and then you lift the other foot. Or if you wanna give it a go, Shift your weight fully into your hands and lift both feet. Remember to breathe. It's really helpful to draw your belly up and in. The psychology of lifting your hips makes you feel lighter. And then when you're done with crow, we're gonna meet in prone frog. Your knees are wide hips in line with your knees, right angles in your legs. You can bring a block for a pillow. Let gravity do the work here. We're warm. We've been working on our hips. If you send out goodness from yourself, or if you share what is happy or good within you, it will all come back to you multiplied 10,000 times. In the kingdom of love, there is no competition. There is no possessiveness or control. The more love you give away, the more love you will have. Such a beautiful one, John O'Donohue. few more rounds of breath here. Explore what happens when you send your hips forward a little bit or back a little bit. Where's that ideal spot to help stretch your inner thighs? On your next inhale, walk up onto your hands, tuck your toes, and move into a wide-legged down dog. Walk your hands to the left, press into the earth. Walk your hands to the right. Send your hips high and your chest low. And walk your hands back to center. Then come into a low malasana, low frog pose. You can toe heel your feet together a little bit as you walk your hands back. Your heels may be on or off the floor. Open your knees with your elbows. Lengthen your spine, hands to heart center. Try and press into the earth so you're not just sinking down. Keep it active. You can always sit on a block here for support or two blocks. Remember to breathe, three, two, one, sit back, grab your big toes with your peace fingers and come back into your balancing frog. Remember opposing forces between your fingers and hands, long spine, shoulders away from your ears. Three, two, one, release, so good. Come into fire log, bring your left foot on the floor, parallel your shin with the front of your mat, flex your foot. 
and then stack your right leg on top. You want ankle over knee, knee over ankle with feet flexed and active. Root down through your sits bones. If this doesn't work in your body, you can put a block in front of your left knee and rest your right foot on top of it. If you have tight hips, this will be much more supportive. You can stay upright or you can join me in a little movement. Bring your hands beneath your hips, fingers pointing to the front. Look up, maybe hover your hips off the floor. Big breath in and exhale, lower your hips down. Maybe come into a nice forward fold. This will help open your hips even more. Notice your knee sinking lower. And then inhale, walk back up. Let's do a couple of twists. First, we'll twist to the left. You can do an upright twist, just using your thigh and the floor behind you to lengthen your spine as you look over your left shoulder. You could also do a prayer twist, bringing your right elbow inside your left foot. Keep your right knee opening. Find a gaze that works for you. One more inhale. Exhale, release. Let's twist to the other side as well, upright or a prayer twist. One more inhale. Exhale, release, so strong. Uncross your legs, shake them out. And then we'll go in the other direction. Right foot on the bottom this time, left leg on top. Stack your legs like fire logs, flex your feet to protect your knees. Remember the option of a block if that works better for you. Hands behind you, look up, hover your hips, big breath in. And then exhale, lower it down. Walk forward, a nice forward fold. Come back up, twist to the right, either upright, gazing over your shoulder, or the prayer twist, left elbow inside your foot. Release, come to the other side. One more inhale. Exhale, release. Whew. Shake it out. Meet in down dog now. Starting to slow down, cool it down. Inhale, hinge forward to high plank. And exhale, go into your tiptoes slowly as you can, lower down. Come into Sphinx Pose. Elbows stacked under your shoulders. Create number 11 with your forearms. Then draw your elbows back towards you. Reach your heart through the gate of your arms. Create space between your shoulders and your ears. And breathe. On our next inhale, we're gonna move into a forearm plank on the tops of our feet. So we pretty much keep everything the same except float our hips off the ground. So draw your belly in, tuck your tailbone, press into your elbows and hover your hips. Cat in your spine, and then slowly lower them down. Reach your heart forward again, come back into your sphinx. It does not matter if your hips come off the floor, just experience the engagement like you were going to lift them and that's great. Exhale. Lift your hips. Great stretch for your feet and ankles. Lower down, reach your heart forward. One more time. 
Exhale, hover. Keep pressing into your arms and your feet. And lower back through Sphinx. Then bend your right leg. Take a quad stretch. Reach your right hand back. Press your right hip down into the earth as you draw your heel towards your glute. And one more inhale. Exhale, release. Other side, bend your left leg. And reach back and grab your foot. Dial your left hip down now. Pull your heel towards your glute. One more inhale. Exhale, release. Now, lower your forehead to the mat. And bring your fingertips behind your ears for some back sit-ups. Press the tops of your feet into the floor. Glue your legs together. Knees lift. Press your pubic bone down for stability. Inhale, lift your elbows, your chest, your head off the floor. Fire up your back body, squeeze your glutes. Exhale, tap it down. Inhale again, feet stay down. Exhale, release. One more time, lift and hold. Three, can you lift a little higher? Two, one, release. Whew. Frame your heart with your hands. Press up through tabletop and come to lie on your back. So we're gonna do some dynamic supported fish. Your blocks will be in the shape of a T. I'd like them actually touching today. We want this lower block to be way up high on your shoulder blades, not on your lower back. So the sideways block is your pillow and the other block is between your shoulder blades. You don't have to stay right where you land, move things around, get adjusted, and first experience what this is like if you're just relaxing. Open your arms wide like wings and let your toes fall out to the side. With every exhale, feel your shoulders wrap around the edges of your blocks. You can stay right here. You can join me in dynamic fish. Take a steeple grip. Release your pointers towards the sky. Roll your inner thighs towards each other and point your toes. Send your left leg high. Point it towards the sky. Now on the inhale, reach your steeple grip up. Feel space created in your shoulders. And then exhale, sink your shoulders down around your block. Keep your left leg active. Inhale, reach. Exhale, lower. One more time, lengthen. And relax, lower your left leg. And send your right leg up. Inhale, lengthen. Keep your toes pointed and active. Inhale, lower. Reach up, create space, and then relax around your block one more time. Lengthen and lower. Slowly lower your leg, release your grip, come back through your relaxing supported fish, arms wide. Catch your breath. One more breath in and exhale, roll onto your side into fetal pose. Set your blocks out of the way. Round your spine and cozy in. Nice counter stretch. 
to round your spine here. Wayne Dyer says, how people treat you is their karma, but how you react is yours. How do our reactions affect the garden we're planting and growing? One more inhale. Exhale, roll onto your back. Center yourself on your mat. Come into half wound removing pose. Send your right leg long and squeeze your left knee to your chest. Option to hover your right heel off the floor and point your toes. Squeeze your left knee in. Everything's active, big inhale. Exhale, lower your right heel if it's up and move into supine twist. Your knee goes to the right, you look to the left. Maybe shift your lower hip towards the center of your mat. One more inhale. Exhale, unwind. Other side. Left leg long, right knee into your chest. Option to hover your heel, squeeze your knee in. Feel a nice constriction in your right hip. Take a full breath in. Exhale, twist, lower your heel. Twist your knees to the left. Extend your right arm to the side. Anchor your shoulders down. How can you find more length in your right side body here? Draw your hip away from your face. And then with every exhale, settle deeper into your twist. One more inhale. Exhale, release. Come back to center. Draw your knees into your chest, forehead to knees, full wind removing pose. Curl up into a ball and then take your fullest inhale of the day. And exhale into Shavasana, lower down. Extend your legs. Let your hips fall open. Scoot your shoulder blades underneath your heart. Palms up. People get into a heavy-duty sin and guilt trip, feeling that if things are going wrong, that means they did something bad and that they are being punished. But that is not the idea at all. The idea of karma is that you continually get the teachings that you need to open your heart. To the degree that you didn't understand in the past how to stop protecting your soft spot, how to stop armoring your heart. You're given this gift of teachings in the form of your life to give you everything you need to open up further. Pema Chodron. As you lay here in Shavasana, corpses pose. It's a wonderful opportunity to forgive yourself. Forgive yourself for past wrongdoings. There's no need to punish yourself any longer. Breathe in the lessons that you have learned and exhale, release all regret.
you begin to deepen and lengthen your breath. Wiggle your fingers and your toes. Circle out your ankles and your wrists. Let your head fall to one side. And then to the other. Take a long good morning stretch. Point your toes, arms overhead, full breath in. And exhale into fetal pose on your favorite side. Curl up into a ball. Use your bicep as a pillow. This week, explore the law of cause and effect as it applies to your life off your mat. If you're feeling good, if something lovely comes your way, then share it and pay it forward. Send that positive energy into the world. And if you face a hardship or a conflict, pause, feel your feelings, and then consciously choose how you want to react in order to create the kind of life and the kind of world that your heart desires. On your next inhale, rise up with as little movement as possible to an easy seat on your mat. Bring your hands to third eye center and lengthen your spine. The light, the love, the teacher, the student, and the hot mess in me recognizes and adores the light, the love, the teacher, the student, and the hot mess in you. Namaste. Thank you so much for joining me today. I truly believe that every time we come onto our mat and take an hour or half an hour or 15 minutes out of our day to center and ground and stretch our bodies, we are creating positive karma and sending it out into the world. Everyone benefits. So I'm glad you made it here today and I hope to see you again next week at Be Free Yoga. Thank you.